In our last video, ah, this soup is nice. I like it. I showed you a fisherman soup recipe that is very different from all the other recipes of fisherman soup prepared everywhere else in Nigeria. That is on our food, and our Yoruba and our Laje soup. Okay. We say Laje like pass. So some people they call them fisherman soup. So today I will be showing you the last soup I ate during my visit to the Elaje people who reside in the coastline of Akwaibom State. This soup is very important to men for one particular reason. And that reason you shall find out in this video. Hello guys and welcome back to Epic Food Review. In today's video, I'm about to show you one of the most important soup to the Elaje people. The Elajes are a tribe of Yoruba people that live around the coastal areas of Nigeria. I was opportune to spend some time with them and they prepared this soup for me. This soup is called Bokolisa. Today you are going to see how they prepare this soup. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide. Let's go. Bokolisa soup is a very important soup to the Elaje and Yoruba people in general. It is said to have originated from the Ekale and Elaje people in Ondo State, Nigeria. This soup can be classified as one of the Nigerian draw soups alongside Ewedu, Otom soup, Okoho soup and Obono soup. If you know any other type of draw soup that I missed, kindly drop them in the comment section. Is there any key ingredient in cooking Bokolisa? Yes. This is Bokolisa. Mm. And we are adding pepper. Mm. With this Bokolisa, because Bokolisa is, is, is a seed. It's a seed, okay. Yes, yes. it's a seed. Feed branded, go dry, mm. branded like powder. Okay. Because of people where they go far place. So you won't go cook for that side. Okay. Yes. Mm. So we don't add any flavor, anything. Okay. Okay. Despite having the distinctive characteristics of draw soup, which is the sliminess, Bokulisa has another important quality that other draw soups do not have. This soup is said to help in improving a man's bedroom performances. This Bokulisa is work well for body. Okay. It's good for man too. So it's work for uh, man power too. Okay, like give man, man yes, strength. Uh, yes. If you are a man and you are watching this video, this soup is good for, you know, strength. Uh -huh. So if you understand what I mean, that's okay. The Bokulisa soup is prepared using the powder from crushed Bokulisa seeds. This seed is very hard to find anywhere else in Nigeria apart from Ondo State and this singular fact has limited the consumption of the Bokulisa soup to mostly the Yoruba people. Where did the name come from? What's the meaning of Bokulisa? Bokulisa. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> our old, uh, we, our, our old mama, that old in this. Uh. They cook this Bokulisa. Uh. You will cook her. Come give your husband. Then they like him. Our husband, they like him well. Okay. Well. They go know. They go call you say Bokolisa. because now the soup we men. They our, like. Yes. Okay. Now the soup where our forefather they like pass. So they will not hail you Bokolisa. Yes, Bokolisa. <laughs> and we because we they call husband Oko. Oko. Okay. Yes. Now they where they remove that name Bokolisa. Bokolisa. Okay. Yes. Despite having a viral-like effect on men, the Bokolisa soup also have other health benefits like helping to reduce blood pressure. And also helping with weight loss. Ah, all right, guys. I would like to eat this bokolisa, not because of the, the other one I told you about, but just because I like the name. Okay, uh, I like the name. To prepare this soup, you need the bokolisa powder, pepper, palm oil, dry fish, a mixture of cow skin, and any other meat of your choice. Here, the proteins we are already pre cooked. You also need salt and seasoning cube. Start by grinding down your pepper to get a very smooth and seedless paste. Mix the pepper paste with water and pour into your cooking pot. Put the pot on fire and bring the water to a boil. When the water starts boiling, wash and add your cleaned dry fish. Season with some seasoning cubes and salt to taste and cover to cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add your cooked meat and cow skin into the soup. Stir and cover to cook for 10 minutes. As the soup is cooking, mix the Bokulisa powder with some palm oil until well combined and set aside. After 10 minutes, add the Bokulisa mixture and allow it to cook until the soup thickens and becomes slimy. I was told you don't need to cover the pot from this point. When the soup has become very slimy, allow it to cook for 2 to 3 minutes and then your Bokulisa soup is ready. So here we have the Bokolisa. The Bokolisa soup. This one they say that is is good for men. 
So it's time for us to taste this bokulisa and know what it's all about. And um, it's usually cooked for men when you want to like have um, enough strength. Enough strength to do what? To do... <laughs> okay, I understand. So when you want yes, to have strength to, have to, have to go and do something. Go and do something. Uh -huh, this, is... this is the type of food you, you take. It's like draw soup. Yes, the, the seed. The seed they are using preparing it is a, is a draw seed. But the seed is not for other people. It's only mainly for Yoruba people. Yes, okay. it's mainly for Yoruba people. It's always scarce. You will not see it everywhere. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow, wow. I'm trying to contemplate whether I should remove my cap or not. But I think this will worth it. <laughs> so this is this is a very nice soup. Consistency wise, like uh, it's, it's slimy, like when you are eating draw soup. You know the soup they call obono soup. Yeah, this is just like obono soup to me. Even the taste is similar to that of obono soup. No extra, and there was no leaf added to it. No, no leaf added to it. It's mm -hmm. only that seed that is added to it. It's been grounded. Okay. Yes. Okay, there was no vegetable whatsoever inside this soup. It's just like a mixture of meat, fish, you know. They added cow skin, meat, fish, and then the, the grounded bokulisa seed. If you love obono soup, you will love this one. Because this is just like obono soup and it's very, very delicious. Absolutely delicious. I love it. I love this soup. It's easy to swallow. You know, if you have small children, no, this one, you cannot give it to Yes, this one is not for children. It's only okay. for adults. Okay. So it's easy to swallow. And one important thing to note is that this soup is good for the men. If you want to go and walk somewhere there, okay, this is what you eat to enhance your your strength, okay? But well, this soup is very wonderful. So if you find yourself around any larger person and you want food to strengthen you, this is what you should go for. So out of the three food that I've been eating today, like which one do you like most? Okay, all of them are delicious, okay? Now, I like this fisherman soup. So why? The fisherman soup is quite different from regular fisherman soup that other people prefer. It okay. has its own unique flavor and it's, it's different the recipe is different then secondly i also love this and i also love the the black soup the black the one the black soup yeah i also love that one also but that one would only appeal to maybe the older generation not like the young ones young people might not like it because the taste is not that vibrant like this one yes, yes. okay but this one the fisherman soup and the marubo three of them are okay they are very wonderful but i would pick my personal favorite is that a Tyson? So here you have it, the Bokulisa, a special soup meant for men who want to go and do some heavy work the other side. Okay? If you love this video, like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, eat to live while I live to eat. I am Mr. Epic, and I will see you on the next video. Let me enjoy this one.